What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at two mobilizations you can do on yourself if you have wrist pain when the wrist is in extension. This happens quite often when people are in push-ups or handstands, they'll feel pain on the back side of the wrist. So if that's something you're experiencing, stay tuned for today's video. Before I get into today's techniques, I wanna mention my new book is out, Rehab Science, How to Overcome Pain and Heal from Injury. It's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. The book has rehab programs that you can do at home on your own for the 50 most common conditions that we see in physical therapy. And each body region is in a different chapter. So today we're talking about the wrist. In the book, there is a wrist chapter, chapter 18, and it will show the programs that are available here. This first program is for wrist pain and wrist sprains like we're talking about today. When you go through the program, there'll be three phases in each one. This is just one example page, pictures of me doing the exercises and instructions for each exercise. So there's a chapter for each body region. If you want a resource that covers the whole body and has programs like a physical therapist would give you, I'll put the links down in the description. Before showing mobilizations to help improve wrist extension range of motion and reduce pain, I also just wanna mention that while you're working through this, it often helps to make modifications when you're in push-ups and in handstands. So here are three modifications I like to use. One here is just to roll up a towel, and what you can do is put the kind of backside, the palm of your hand on the towel and your fingers down on the ground what this does is that it essentially limits how much extension my wrist goes into when I'm doing push-ups or a handstand. Whereas if I'm on the flat ground, I'm gonna get more extension here in that push-up or handstand position. If I elevate my palm, then I'll have less extension. And this is a way you can kind of keep training those exercises um, while you're working on your wrist extension mobility. Another way to do this is to do knuckle push-ups. We used to do this all the time when I was in martial arts. We just do knuckle push-ups. This keeps the wrist in neutral another good way to kind of protect it. Probably my favorite one is to use dumbbells. So just to put dumbbells down on the ground and you can get push-up bars, right? There's all these products you can buy, but dumbbells work well where you can basically keep the wrist in neutral and do your push-ups, your handstands, a little more dangerous because they can roll. Um, so, you know, it might be good to just get push-up bars or handstand bars if you have a wrist that keeps bothering you. So here are our mobilizations. There's gonna be two mobilizations. For the first one here, you know, if you came in to see me in physical therapy, I would mobilize your wrist. A PT would do this to you or a chiropractor, whoever you're seeing. But you can kind of do it to yourself. When people have wrist extension pain, it's pain between their radius and ulna, these two long forearm bones, and the first row of carpal bones here in the wrist and it will create sort of an impingement when they get into this position and will hurt usually kind of the back side of the wrist. So what we wanna do is mobilize the first row of carpal bones here, the proximal row. We need to help those slide while the wrist is going to extension. So what you're gonna do is put your hand palm down on a surface like a weight bench about this height. And then what you'll notice is that as you bring your radius and ulna forward, you'll get to a point where there's pain in the wrist as you go into more extension. So what I'm gonna do then is take my other hand, kind of take the web space, and my goal is to contact the row of carpal bones right here and to push them backwards. Okay, so I don't wanna push on the radius and ulna. I don't wanna push on the end of these two bones, not on that bump. I wanna go down to the carpal bones. So I'm gonna take that hand and put it in here and think about pushing backwards. That's gonna help that proximal carpal row slide posteriorly, which will take pain away. So you go right up to your point of pain and then you're gonna push in right there and kind of mobilize and think again about pushing that carpal row backwards. Usually people will notice when they do it right that the pain will be relieved a little bit and you might be even be able to go a little farther into the range of motion. So you're kind of going up to that point where it starts to hurt and then push those carpal rows backwards and then what you would do is hang out here and mobilize for 30 to 60 seconds. I'm kind of oscillating and pushing those carpal bones backwards to basically help reduce pain and improve mobility. After 30 to 60 seconds, you can take a break, kind of shake it out for a minute or so, 30 seconds to a minute, and go back again. And we will typically do three to five bouts of a mobilization to help patients if they were coming in and seeing us in the clinic. Okay, so that's our first one, a wrist extension mobilization where you're using the other hand to mobilize the joint. For our next mobilization, we're gonna use a stretch strap here. This is just a 
nylon strap with loops in it. I'll put a link down in the description for this. This is nice because it's not elastic. You need something firm like this to perform joint mobilizations. So what you're gonna do is take a loop on the end and hook it around your hand. Again, not up on those upper bones, but down below the um, end of the forearm right here. So you'll find that little bony prominence here on the ulna, go just past that. So the strap is gonna hook onto the wrist there. That way I'll know I'm on the carpal bones, I'm not up on the forearm bones. And then what I'm gonna do is put my palm on my bench like I was doing a second ago, and now the strap is gonna do what my hand was doing in the last mobilization. So I'm gonna move forward until I, where, to the spot where I feel my wrist pain, and then I'm gonna use this hand to pull backwards to mobilize those carpal bones. So as I, I'm gonna again go forward into extension and then pull backwards, and again here, I'm kind of oscillating and pulling for 30 to 60 seconds to mobilize that joint. If the pain kind of eases, then you can move a little farther into extension and then continue to mobilize there. And like with the last mobilization, you know, mobilize for 30 to 60 seconds, take a break, kind of shake it out, and then perform three to five bouts of that mobilization. This is something usually you can do every day. Okay, so those are two of the best mobilizations you can do on yourself if you have wrist pain when going into extension. If it doesn't get better with these, then you can always go see a physical therapist, a chiropractor, or an occupational therapist um, who's certified as a hand therapist, and uh, they can mobilize the joint for you. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments section. I'll see you next time. Bye.